Hello everyone and welcome back to the video. If you're new here, my name is Josie and thanks so much for clicking on the video. Without further ado, let's review Nintendo Switch Sports. In this mini game compilation, there are six different sports at this time. There's gonna be seven down the line, but right now we've got volleyball, badminton, chambara, soccer, tennis, and bowling. And later down the line, Nintendo is going to be adding golf following their new by now we finish the game later type thing that's kind of getting really annoying but without further ado let's get into the actual review first let's talk about the gameplay taking us all the way back to 2006 switch sport capitalizes on nostalgia and fun while still feeling somewhat of an incomplete package to get into that first let's talk about volleyball now i've played and coached volleyball for the majority of my life and I can say that this mini game is very, very true to the actual game of volleyball, which is amazing to say because a lot of volleyball video games have not had the fundamentals down. They don't understand the fundamentals of volleyball and so they don't represent it super well in the game. But this game plays it amazingly. The passing is true to form, the setting is true to form, and the hitting is really great. I love how if you turn your wrist one way, you hit down the line. If you turn your wrist the other way, you hit angle. The way you dive, I think, is also really cool. I think it is slow, which I have heard that complaint a lot, but if you get a perfect pass set hit, then it's pretty quick, and you have to be ready to react to that ball and pass that ball correctly. You also have to cover the block, which I think is awesome. I think the blocking mechanics are great. I think that Nintendo did a really great job with this mini game. I would say the only thing that bothers me a bit about it is the serving. You can't really, from what I've experienced, control where you want to serve the ball. Like, you can't pick what person you want to serve to. I think it's just like you serve it randomly, unless I could be wrong, but that's just what I've experienced. Let me know if I'm correct in the comments down below and how you guys angle your serves and know where to go. So for volleyball overall, I have really, really enjoyed my time playing this game. I've had a ton of fun and I've played this game online by myself with my roommates and every single time I've had such a blast. The next game I wanna talk about is Badminton. Badminton is perhaps the most strategic game of the bunch. It has drop shots, overhead swings, side swings, and it's very strategic in how you have to place your shots in different areas and do a drop shot. You have to be really smart about how you return the birdie because otherwise you could fall. As I said, I still don't fully have this game down, but it is the most fun I have had playing a video game with my roommates. Neither of us totally know the strategy, but we're learning as we go and I think it's really great how this game teaches you more strategic stuff about each sport as you develop further into it, which is awesome. Next up, we want to talk about bowling. Bowling is so faithful to the original on Wii Sports, but it stepped it up a little bit, has a new coat of paint, and the online functionality of bowling is just fantastic. It feels amazing, there's accurate motion, and it's really great how every player can go at the same time. So if you're in a local setting where you have four people with you, all four of you guys can bowl at the same time and the game goes so much faster because of that. The online mode for bowling is just fantastic. It has a specific battle royale mode where you try to outlast the other players and you get kicked out with the lowest score until eventually the person bowling the best ends up winning. I'm going to tell you right now, it is very, very competitive and very difficult. People often roll perfect games. I don't even know how you do that with bowling. My record for strikes is probably like five, but the motion is very accurate. You can do hook shots. You can get really crazy with it. It reads the slightest of motions with your swing, so it's super great. Probably the game that is the most accurate with the motions, I would say. The one thing is, is that you have to hold the trigger, and it's not like how in Wii Sports where you would let go of the B button. I don't know why they did that because it was so intuitive, so that kind of messed with me a little bit, but overall, bowling is just one of the best experiences you can have. There's a reason it is the most popular game from the original original Wii Sports. Next, we have soccer. Soccer is literally Rocket League, but with your me. You have full control of your character, and you have a stamina meter, and you can jump. There's a lot more of a game in it than a lot of the other more timing-based sports games. You can do headers. You can kick the ball to the left, to the right. You can kick the ball downwards, upwards. You have a lot of range of motion, which is really great. The 
online gets pretty competitive. I'm also not very good at soccer. My roommate loves this one. It's his favorite game in this pack. I think the goal kick mode is really basic. It gets really boring after the first time. You do it the first time, and you're like, oh, this is kind of cool how it's reading my kick, but it's literally just timing, and it's very repetitive. I mean, you literally just kick, you stand there, and you kick your foot, and so after the first time and the, the hype of it wears off, there's not really much of a game left there to play. Moving on from soccer, we have Chambara. Chambara is intense. It's nail-biting. It has some action-packed moments. It's a really competitive and super exciting game. I I think this is probably my second favorite game on this whole pack. Me and my roommate go hard on this game. It's also very fleshed out compared to most of these games. You have three different sword types with charge, twin, and just the normal sword. It's very similar to the Wii Sports Resort one, but definitely more fleshed out. There's a lot of strategy involved. You can go more on the offensive, which you do by holding down the trigger, and then you move so that your sword is perpendicular to your attacker's sword. If you haven't played the Wii Sports Resort one, it's a little bit difficult to get down and understand on the first playthrough, but by your second or third time, you'll really start to get the strategy of the game, and it gets so, so intense. Lastly, we have tennis. It's literally Wii Tennis with a fresh coat of paint. What I do appreciate about this one is that it has a little bit more customization than a lot of the other sports games, as in you can play one game, you can play best of three, you can play best of five, so it has a little bit more options for things of that sort, unlike the others, which is just go to five, go to two, go to four, you know, it's like custom customizable in that way. If you liked the original Wii Tennis where it's mostly timing and you can kind of fumble it and you can get like a really hard down shot but it's it's pretty much the same exact game from Wii Sports. New coat of paint and a little bit of new mechanics but not really. I loved the original tennis on Wii Sports and so I had an absolute blast with it but I can understand how people would be disappointed by just literally it being the same exact thing but the original was great, it was a lot of fun, and so if you had fun with that, you're gonna have fun with this one. Let's talk about the presentation. The presentation, of course, has like the signature Nintendo charm. It's just polished, and it looks really nice. The menus are straightforward, it's easy to understand, you know where to go to access everything. The new characters are fun and bring new life into the game, but I can't help but feel just a little bit disappointed that the Miis are being sidelined. I have so much nostalgia for the original game, so I'm definitely biased to that old me charm. And when you put them in the game, they kind of look out of place. Moving on from the characters, the online works amazing. The presentation for the online is great. It's literally just normal, but online. There's not really a different sub menu you go into, you just select it at the beginning, which is really easy, straightforward, nice. The online works really well, there's not a lot of lag, there's not a lot of stuttering, and I have pretty much only positive things to say about the online. It was so good that some people thought the online was fake and that Nintendo was just putting CPUs in there. That's incorrect. Nintendo put CPUs for the very first match that you do, um, but after that it's all online people. Unless somebody drops or something happens and there's not enough, then they'll fill a slot with a CPU. Um, to keep the game moving. I was so unbelievably excited for this game. This was my most anticipated game of 2022. Did it live up to my expectations and my hype? Yes and no. I wish there was more sports. I really enjoyed baseball from the original Wii Sports, so I hope that since they're adding more content down the line that they can maybe add baseball. But this is definitely some of the most fun I have had on my Switch in a long time, especially playing locally. This is the game that I have not had to explain. I have not had to push people to want to play this. People are super excited, especially my generation, to see that there's this new Switch Sports. I think it's the perfect party game for families and definitely a must own for anyone living with people. With all that said, I would give Nintendo Switch Sports a solid 7 out of 10. It is a very fun game but it is missing some of that charm from the original Wii. I didn't even touch on how there's no training mode and how a lot of the side modes from Wii Sports were just completely cut from this game and I would love it if those were brought back. And I'd love it if Nintendo would have put in golf from the get-go and added a couple more sports. I think 10 sports on this package would have been perfect, but for the price point, I can't really complain. It's a budget Nintendo title, which don't come out a lot. So, loved the game, highly recommend. Let me know down below in the comments if you got this game and thanks so much for watching. Later.